You look nervous, brother. What's troubling you? A man from Belfast came to see me this morning with an important message for the cause. A messenger? Never kill one of those. Even the ones from Belfast. Sir John Grenfell Maxwell is coming to Dublin for a week. We have to take him down before he strikes first. Apparently this dog hits hard when he does. It's our best chance. Maybe our only chance. They like to enslave us, but they don't like to have our lands beneath their boots. How many? Hmm? You? It's like for love, Dermot, you know, you keep trying until you get the one. We have to act fast, even if we don't like it. I don't like how it's come out of my mouth. Sounds like the devil himself is speaking. I can do it. I can kill him. You're one of the finest hit men of the rebellion, Dermot, and one of my most trusted. It's a big risk. Maybe too big even for a man of your skills. We are believers. That's why our blood is as green as the emerald fields of this island. As green as hope. We'll always have enough to stand. I can do it. I can kill him for you. For Ireland. For freedom. To end this horror once and for all. You gotta come back in one piece, lucky bastard. I'll do it. This war is coming to an end. Once and for all, brother. Banshee! What is falling apart in that screaming little head of yours? Someone is telling a sad story, Puka. A tragedy. There's nothing more sadder than a, than a sad story. Except maybe a tragedy. That is dreadful. Should we scream at the wind? Would it be any use? What else is there to do when the world of man is at war? Maybe your sailor could hear you scream. He might go fix your story. Yeah. Palocrates is dangerous enough to do the right thing. What are you waiting for? Wake him up. Someone is going to go get him. Destiny is set in motion. Scream, Banshee. Scream. The more I stare at the Irish sky, the more I stares back at me, promising me some funny joke. Who said the tots are not dangerous? Are you a British sailor? Would it make any difference? You don't look like someone in the right position to be picky. Not for long. Maybe so. But I can't settle the score. You could. Apology. <laughs> Being betrayed. I've no one to blame but myself. There's always a Brutus. Oh, irony. Don't you know I'm Irish? Life must be Irish, though. What's your name? Damn it. Damn it, I'm doing that. Paolo Cortese. What have you done to get a bullet in your belly? Nothing that you haven't heard before. Some people sail. Some people write poetry. 
a friend of mine's a butcher. With too many fall in love and die young for that country. A woman in war. Why not? Let me have a look. It's a good moment to think about a young man. Grania. Magnificent. As beautiful as a shiny sunrise of a wicklow. Graceful as a fairy. The only woman that can make me wish stop killing. Wife of the bravest, smartest warrior this country will ever see. Best friend and Brutus. Doug, you got your promise. Farewell, Jimmy. Fionn, we've received word. The British, they're talking of an assassination attempt. They're praising the officer. They say, he shot him in cold blood. Fionn. They were waiting for him. Some pig has betrayed us. Dermot will be remembered as a martyr. His memory is going to be a banner of the fight. Hi, Fionn. No better man. Such a fine Irish warrior. And such a friend to you. There's no doubt you've become a legend and a martyr for the future generations of Ireland. Please, O'Brien, leave us. Is it true? Tashi. For the love of Christ, a moment! Fionn McCool. Major O'Sullivan talked to me about you. He forgot to mention your bad manners, though. Who are you? My name is Paolo Cortese. Or Hermes, if you like. A messenger sent on behalf of Dermot O'Divna. You must be Grania. Yes. How do you know Dermot? Where is he? Let her be! I lost a brother today. I won't mind any more to kill the messenger. Shakespeare won't approve, but... Well... English are pigs, am I right? If you're here as an English messenger... It's the second gun barrel I'm looking into today. I'm not impressed. Stayed by his side till the very end. He died like a good man. He died a martyr, a hero for the cause. Everything must tumble down before your stupid war, your cause, your rebels, your country, <laughs> your jealousy. Nothing is yours. Neither I. I'm his, and I'll be forever, like the sun growing in me. You won't have it. Any memories of his father? Just a, just a stupid story about a martyr. If you are not able to conceive love, how how can you believe in the battle for peace? You 
You are the most naive man in the whole country. Claudia! Fionn! This war isn't worth it. I knew it. I knew everything. I remember fight. Strategy came and glory to come. It was all worth it. My only regret is my defeat. She's no better. Even now she's cruel with my bleeding pride. Running to the cliffs of theirs. I used to watch her from this window every night. Them kissing under the moonlight. Maybe she will please me by taking a jump. Paolo Cortese, let me win this war. I heard a banshee scream for her life. Bright as the shiny sunrise over Wicklow. It was impossible ignoring you in that room. Was it painful? It was meaningful. But that's a privilege reserved to just a few of us. It's not natural. This hate between flags. This prejudice that we dare to hide behind God. <laughs> it's the only thing that matters. And it's suffocating any spark of kindness. Beauty? Beauty becomes a fragment in a broken mirror. Love of humanity is dying. And nobody cares. How can we let this happen? Dermot was pursuing something more. He fought for it, and he died for love by hand of hate. I don't want to live trapped in a memory of a life not lived. But I have to. As his father died, he will live. He'll be free from the shackle of hate. Forever young as the emerald grass. It's true. One man can really make a difference. It's a shame that one day man will forget how to laugh at the butterflies. And my strident banshee. Isn't this what it's all about? Their ability to stand to Manny to act gently for what's right. Maybe you're right. Maybe. I'm still annoyed that we had to use that dreamy sailor of yours to fix the story. Paolo Petit was there because he was meant to be. We're just jealous because he wrote for himself a better role than yours. What a boredom. I'm going to play a small trick on one of your men. You've just tricked Fionn, upsetting him with all that tittle-tattle with the poor Dermot. Well, I played my part of it, and I didn't get noticed. Where do you think Paolo's going? Back to his dream, of course. What else could a romantic possibly do, Puka? 